Hi, y'all. It's Mama Cats, Alley Cats Homestead. No, I'm not going to show you my face because I look atrocious. But I did want to show you this little chicken pen we built today. Um, literally built it out of stuff we just had around. We had these uh, temporary dog panels. We had two different sets. So there's a hodgepodge of things going on here. Um, this is just temporary because we're going to be moving a building and putting them back in the back of the property but right now there's a building in the way um where to start even just we started out with these dog panels i didn't measure this but i used 40 feet 50 feet of chicken wire to wrap it so whatever that ends up being um so we just put this these are uh, aluminum studs like for building my husband brought them home forever ago and they've just been sitting around so we just use them to add to the height so we could add chicken wire to the top of them uh, this had a little gate in it, so we just made this little latch here. Just wraps around the 2x4, and at the bottom, just set it in there, and then slide this piece down over it to get in and out of this area. Um, those two, if you can see them, there's two silkies in there. They're in jail, chicken jail. They're in a pen inside the pen because, guess what? They are not very nice. They beat up the other chickens for some reason. They're, they're bigger than the other chickens, but they just seem to pick on the other non-silky chickens for some reason. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's actually a meat bird up there ro roosting, which is very strange for meat birds. Um, yeah, that's a meat bird. Those meat birds are about four weeks old. They eat a lot. There's a Three more or so back there in that corner with them other little birds. We've got a bunch of, uh, quite a few black sex links. Uh, that little red bird right there and the little black one next to her is a turkin. Um, they are actually pretty decent little birds. They're very friendly. They're sweet. They're not mean to other birds. They get big fast. Uh, we don't know what this one is. This is Frank. She is, uh. By far the meanest to people, but she loves the other birds a lot. She's a pretty sweet little bird. That chicken right there's name is Daisy. She thinks she's a chicken. Um, anyways, yeah, we got some silkies back there, some frizzles. There's more in the coop over there. I'm going to brave my uh, design here. So essentially with this, hopefully I can do it with one hand, you just take this oh, off the bottom here. And then... I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. Take it off the top, and it just folds back out of the way. Then we just go in this way. Hopefully my little dog don't follow me. She likes to chew on the chickens. No, Daisy. Sorry about my filming. I'm trying to film in. That's this gate behind me. Okay, so now we're in the chicken pen. Um, anyways, literally, it's held together with zip strips. And we got a few T posts pounded in the ground, various places. Here's another little silky. He's pretty sweet. Um, total, I think we have 45 birds. Uh, I don't know how many are out here. But what I did was, if you can see this horse trailer, it starts there. It's a four horse trailer. Back in its day, it was uh, quite the horse trailer to have. This belonged to my mother who passed away a few years back. And... My daddy gave me this trailer. It's been sitting on our property literally for the last four years trying to figure out what we were going to do with it. Um, so we decided we were going to turn this half, this front half, into a chicken coop. And the reason we chose that is because of the way it's designed on the inside. It's going to, it's working out really well for us. I'm going to take you in and show you in a minute. It's not a great coop. It's not anything fancy. It has everything it needs. Nothing that it don't. I'm going to step back and show you. It's got these two doors. There's one here. That's the door that goes into the main coop. It's got another little door here. So I'm going to show you what's inside this door. If I can get it open. Okay. So inside this door, right now we just got some supplies. If you look, this is a two compartment. It's a lower and an upper. But inside this area we, is our little chick brooder. We got... Uh, some Americanas, there's a couple of Rhode Island Reds, there's one little white silky, there's a few little black sex links like this little one right here, 
And what else we got in there? Oh, we got three bantams. Uh, they weren't supposed to be bantams. They turned out to be bantams. We got a tiny little frizzle back there. We got a little farm mix right back there with a the little mud. It looks like it has mud on his face. And then we also have, I think I still have two partridge rocks left. Um, that was a whole bad experience. We'll talk about that at another time. But they do have a heat lamp in here if it gets too chilly at night. Um, this is the only way here, this whole panel right here comes out so we can tend to them. Um, but this has worked out really well. During the day, we open this door and they can be there, can see out into the yard where the other chicks are, chickens are. And uh, it'll be several weeks before they're ready to come out of this little brooder. But yeah, so that works out pretty well for us. Then this other door on this side is actually the entrance to the coop. Um, ignore all the junk I still have laying around. We literally just got finished doing this coop. This yard. Daisy leaves and chickens alone. So coming in here, we just have some chicken poop. Um, so this is the front half of the horse trailer. There's another door that goes outside on this side. but And there's doors in the back that shut so you can separate your horses. So we shut those doors. We put chicken wire all around the top. So no chicks can get out. We actually put boards at the bottom. Um, there was a couple of holes in here, so we patched those up. That's what this is that you can see at the bottom there. And then one window had a hole in it, but that was fine because we uh, used that to bring in the cord for the heat lamp. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a four-foot horse gate, a uh, walk gate for like a corral. Another uh, one of the things my dad gave me that belonged to my mom makes perfect roosting bars in the, in here and I mean what better than a livestock gate to have in a horse trailer chicken coop so that's how that works out these little meat birds we have four of these little meat birds and they are just the laziest little things um so looking from basically those double doors I showed you over here is that little brooder area that I showed you where they got a door, a door right there that shuts solid um, at night and they stay nice and warm in there uh, the area next to it now anybody that's familiar with horse trailers this is where you would have the horse's head would be in here and you might have some hay or some grain or something in there just to keep them occupied um, but for us for us it is a chick brooder this side so just like on the other side where there's those two doors one there and one there this side also has two doors. This is a door, and this is a door. This door, if we need to get in and out of the chicken coop, we don't want to have to go through the pen. This is a good way in, because we can walk all the way through to the to the chicken pen, which is right outside this door. So during the day, we keep this door open. The chicks can come and go as they please. We keep their feed inside. Well, they got food out there today, but generally we'll keep their feed inside, and we keep water. There's two waterers in here. And they have access to that water, but those waterers will be outside eventually. So this area right here, this is going to be where we put some nesting boxes. My thoughts are, just to make collection of the eggs easier, I want to put the nesting boxes so this door is actually behind them. So I could come to the outside of this door, open it, reach and collect eggs without having to encounter the entire coop. Um, there's plenty of room for them to get up in here, to get up in here. And I'm thinking I could put four nesting boxes maybe in this area. And that should probably be plenty. Um, like I said, total we have, I think I said 45 birds. Uh, the silkies will all be going into their own pen because they are for breeding and uh, selling of the birds and the eggs. That's one way we're going to make a little bit of money out here on the homestead. But... Uh, most of these in here, I believe, are all hens, and most of those out there are hens. Um, didn't buy any straight-run chickens except for the meat birds. Everybody else was supposed to be pullets, but we all know that doesn't always work out that way. But, uh, yeah, so this is our chicken coop. This is uh, called True Homesteading. We literally, hang on, we're going to step up out of this chicken coop. We literally didn't purchase anything for this coop except for that chicken wire. Everything else is stuff. If you see up under the tongue of the chicken coop, we've got it all blocked up. 
where no birds can get in and out of there. And we have miscellaneous items just keeping that hole under there blocked because we run out of chicken wire. We will eventually uh, put some wire down there. This was a goofy area because my daddy had welded these brackets on here and made this kind of hard and dysfunctional, but I think it'll work. And that is horse trailer turned chicken coop. There's those little mean birds right there. That's a rooster. And that's a hen. They only love each other. They don't love nobody else. We tried just putting her in jail and he started beating up all the chickens too that were outside. He's not as aggressive as she is when they're both out there together. But when he was out there and she was in here, it was almost like he was trying to defend her cage so to speak so any of the chicks got near it he chased them away but uh yeah that's what's happening on the homestead all right this is mama cats the alley cats homestead peace out